I'm Ryan. I'm in the Registered Apprenticeship Program at Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. Well, when I first started, I was just looking for a career uh, to start out with fresh out of high school, and this seemed like a good one. I heard something from an instructor when I first started, and it's everything, every consumer product you will ever touch had a piece or some part of the manufacturing process that came through a pipe. And that kind of stuck with me and made me realize that I was a part of something by doing this that's bigger than just putting two pieces of metal together. Well, one of my goals is to be able to go anywhere in the country and weld at any plant, uh, steel mill, paper mill, fuel plant, a uh, steam plant, any of those places and uh, be able to support my family. Well, the learning courses here involve a lot of practicals such as climbing up on a scaffolding and going into confined spaces, but it's a combination stick and TIG course, which are two different welding processes for fusing metal, whether it be pipe, plate, uh, other structures together. Once I complete the course, I'll have a USDOL uh, certified accreditation and a, uh, ADA American Welding Society accreditation. I like to think my favorite part of the major is the fact that I can create things uh, just that I couldn't do before. Whenever you're learning to do something new that's this, this technical, whenever you get to a point where you can do it, it's just amazing to see the results. And it's also amazing to see uh, masters of their craft teaching you how to do it. Uh, and just absorbing what they do and just watching what they do with, with complete ease. Well, the hardest part of the course is in addition to the fact that there's a pretty steep learning curve, uh, there's also a lot of actual physical things involved. It's a very physical course. You're going to be working in tight spaces, at heights. Uh, you're going to be in a bad spot. Whether you like it or not, you're going to be in a bad spot. Uh, you're going to have a lot of questions raised in your head over doubt of what you are capable of doing, but strength comes from overcoming doubt and, you know, you become better by doing. One of the biggest things I wish I had known before I'd started was how much hand-eye coordination is ultimately required and your attention to detail when you're working. It's, it's very, very important to be able to make minute adjustments, uh, using both your visual and your, fit, your ability to feel what you're doing. My biggest advice for students coming in is to maintain a good attitude. The best welders have good attitudes, the best students have good attitudes. Not just in welding, but in everything you do. One final thing that's really cool about this field is you're not just learning how to stick pieces of metal together, you're, you're learning how to be a creator. You can build things with ease knowing that you can fuse things together and create things out of scrap it's it's rather amazing I once saw an instructor make a special tool that by itself would cost I'm not sure how much money but he built it in like three minutes welded it together it was really interesting to see that we can fabricate almost anything out of metal